Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to build these icon boxes uh, in PowerPoint from scratch. And this is what the final design is going to look like and we'll walk right through it. Um, I will give you access to the source files, which I think will be really helpful, especially with this file, so that you can actually see let me open up the selection visibility pane. Uh, I'll give you access to the, the source files so you can see like how I've named things, how I've grouped things, and I may not do all of that in the lesson, uh, but the source files will show you how to do that. And if you stick around till the end, I also have a special bonus for you there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if I were going to be starting, well, I'll design on this kind of blank slide. Um, but the first thing I would do here is start with the container box, and that's actually just going to be a shape. So if I go to insert shape rectangle, and I'm just going to try to get the sizing close to right. Oh, that's good. And let's go ahead and copy, and we'll paste that onto the new slide. Now, if I were starting from scratch and I didn't know what the sizing was going to be, I'd probably duplicate this four times and, uh, and just make sure that it fits. So I do that and say, okay, oops. So I do that here, and then uh, let's say I wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of space there, and then I would uh, distribute horizontally. And I have that on my quick access toolbar, um, but uh, you could do that another way as well. So I go distribute horizontally, and actually I can see that it fits, and if it didn't, I could scale it up from there. So let's go ahead and just say that uh, we're okay with this design now. We're going to want to format the shape, and it's going to be no fill, and then there's going to be an outline, and we'll go ahead and make it a, a blue, and it looked like it was a compound dash. Oops, sorry, uh, dash type uh, looks like that. You can't really tell. It doesn't really look all that dashed, does it? Dash type. Oh, there's the dash. I was just too zoomed out. Okay. Um, so we now have that container box, and uh, I would, you know, I would name it something that made sense, like container. Okay. Um, the next thing I would do, uh, let's get rid of my old box here, um, is I would want to create that circle. So let's go ahead and insert shape circle. And if I hold shift while I'm doing this, it's going to make it a perfect circle. And now that sizing looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and make that white and no outline. And there's some more formatting that we can do there, but let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll call that circle. And looking at this design here, looks like I need to do that container or the, um, the title at the bottom there. So that looks like a rectangle. So let's draw this rectangle here. That's fine. And I actually want to do the color of this bottom thing. So let's go control shift copy. Oh, in this background, if you wanted, uh, if you wanted to see how I designed that, I have another lesson that shows you how to do the background as well. So control shift C for copy, control shift V for paste. That gets us that format. That looks pretty good. And then I would put that text box in there. And I would make it the whole area and then I would align it middle. And I'll just write test in there. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And we'll make that white. All right. And I would name, again, I would name everything. So text boxes, we're going to call that text. And the rectangle, we're going to call container footer. Great. And, oh, I was missing the little arrow there. So let's go ahead and I'm going to insert a triangle. Make it like that. And let's apply that same formatting, Control-Shift-C. OK, 
Control Shift V. Maybe bump that down a little bit. And we'll just resize it. Okay. And let's get that alignment right. I'm holding Control as I do that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, so now I can see that there's some effects there, and there's also the um, the icon that's inside of there. And I'm actually just going to copy this icon. It's just a PNG, um, and let's put it in there. And what I would tell you is that this is a PNG, and there's some advantages to actually designing the icons in PowerPoint uh, in terms of control of the color. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with this one because that's how it is. Um, and let's get that icon out of here. And if you look and see some of the effects that gives it some dimension, you can see there's kind of a, a shadow there. So let's go ahead and apply that actually. So if we go to format and then we go to effects, where are we? Shape effects, we can do a shadow. I think it's an inner shadow. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So just do the inner shadow and that gives it a little bit of depth there, right? As a button. Yeah, okay. And there was also a reflection if you look back down there. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So format, shape effects, reflection, and we'll just do that one. And now we're looking pretty good like that. So uh, one other note is the reason I did that uh, that text box as its own thing is we can come back and we could then like hide it if we only wanted to save out a portion of it. Um, but uh, the next thing I would do is I would probably start grouping things so that they made sense. Like this container footer, if I go control G, I can group those and I'll just call that container footer. And then I would group this whole thing. I do control G and then I would name that the container. And now what's nice is that we can go back and we could duplicate that and then just swap out the icons. So, you know, very quickly. Um, let's get that about right. And then let's Distribute horizontally. And now we have what's you know pretty close there. All I have to do is swap out the icons and we'd be in, in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, so that's how I would uh, that's how I would design icon boxes like this. And um, hopefully you found that useful. I have a, a special bonus as I promised, uh, and I also have a few other lessons that I'd, that I'd recommend. If you found this video useful, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would like the video. And um, if you wanna get more videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel and I have lots of, lots of PowerPoint design tutorials.